What's up everybody and welcome back to a Baus Let's Play episode. So today we're on episode 5 and it's a special episode today. Um, recently I've hit 100 subs and I made a promise to myself that at 100 subs I'd include a webcam in most if not all of my videos. So here you go. You get to see my face this entire episode. Um, on a lighter note, uh, today we're going to be working on a little bit of the build, the house that I, I want to put on the top of the hill. And then I think we might go into a little bit of caving if time permits. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll see what um, we have time for. So to start off with, let's go back and get my quartz. Make a couple half slabs and climb to the top of the hill. So if you didn't know, um, my birthday was actually last week and uh, my girlfriend and I actually went out to Carmel and um, had a great time, enjoyed ourselves, had a lot of good food, good eats, um, and enjoyed the beach a little bit. Um, but afterwards, when I got back home and um, I came to work the next day, I had a, an interesting surprise waiting for me. and. I'll probably be putting that footage up right now so that you can see while I'm working on this but you can kinda of take a look at what went on um, in my cubicle so that's coming up right now so just wanted to do a vlog real quick of what I came back to work to after a birthday weekend very elaborate these guys are nothing but thorough these are the best ones watch apparently they found out my fear of spiders even on my goggles look at that I ain't opening the mug I don't want to touch the mug so it's everywhere look at that be a nice birthday card too if it wasn't for the fact there was a fat spider on it have it on these boxes too. It's freaking insane. Well, oh, happy birthday to me. So as you can see, my co-workers are very, very cruel. Now, why spiders? They actually found out that I was arachnophobic, so they decided to capitalize on it when they had time to do so. And during my trip, I actually took two days off of work, so that gave them plenty of time to actually uh, get creative with everything that they were doing. They actually had a plan to bring like a, a fake stuffed spider and put it on my desk or whatever the case is. You know, like I'm one of those guys that, or one of those kind of people where um, if I see a spider and it's bigger than than like a daddy long leg, I'd be like, burn it with fire, you know, or or, or kill it with a nuke. Um, I'm, I'm pretty scared of spiders, uh, pretty arachnophobic. Um, where this originated from, I really have no idea. But they found out that I was scared of spiders through an interesting story, actually. Uh, this happened during one of my mission trips to... Ooh, let me get up here and eat. This happened during one of my mission trips to Honduras. Um, and I was telling them about uh, the the trip, and it's, it was a really good trip. Honduras. It was a mission medical medical mission trip. We provided medical aid to uh, a couple villages in Honduras. Um, this was when I was really really interested and in, uh, really gunning for medical school, um, but unfortunately things didn't pl uh, pan out the way I wanted it to. So uh, what ended up happening was uh, my gears changed. But anyways, enough about that. So I went to Honduras, right, and. Oh shit, almost fell down there. Oh. Anyways, um, so during this Honduras trip, all the guys and girls, it was co ed dorm, uh, we kind of shared like a cabin like thing, right? And one of my cabin mates or my dorm mates or whatever, whatever it is, uh, she had the foresight to actually bring a. Uh, switch this out. Bring a kind of like a bug net, right? And so. She brought a bug net and she put it on the front of the the cabin, 
you know, like uh, to, to cover the doors of the, the screen, or kind of like screen the door from bugs coming in. And um, it, it was a good idea at, at the time. Um, but let me tell you why it isn't uh, afterwards. So I should have brought my bed up here. It looks like I'm going to be working through nighttime. Uh, but what ended up happening was in the morning when I actually woke up, uh, I obviously I wear glasses. If you, if you see me without glasses, I'm probably wearing contacts. But um, I was wearing glasses during that trip when I actually woke up and I didn't have my glasses on. Um, so I wasn't paying attention to anything. I was groggy, you know. It's like 7 a.m. I literally just woke up. And... I go to open the door and okay I, I need my hands for this one but um, I go to open the door right and I move the screen aside with my toothbrush and paste and everything on the side you know I move the screen to the side and I see something twitch like like twitch real quick right next to my face you know I, I turn to get a better look and I literally scream for my life like in my loudest voice I could muster I was like oh shit you know I was I was screaming my lungs out and by then I had already developed kind of like a reputation for being loud enthusiastic energetic that kind of thing with um, all my my crewmates you know everybody that was on the trip with me and so one person actually came up and said bow what are you yelling about again and I was like that is the biggest fucking spider I've ever seen and so what did I see I saw a Honduran tarantula. I don't know that that's not actually the name, unless it actually is by mistake. But uh, it was literally a tarantula, and it was a black with yellow stripes tarantula, and it was it was like literally this big, like as big as my face. I kid you not, it was big as my face, and it twitched when I moved the bug net. Um, it wasn't actually on on the bug net where I could actually you know touch it. It was actually squeezed in between the bug net, so it was kind of like encased within the bug net. But it twitched, and I, I freaked out, right? Um, it was huge, black, yellow stripes. I literally ran for it, you know, like, um, that experience definitely traumatized me. And later, I find out that that breed of, uh, no, that won't work. That breed of spiders was actually one of Honduras' most poisonous uh, species of tarantulas. Fancy that, right? So, yeah, uh, definitely scarred. Scarred for, for life. Um, in addition to already my basic fear of spiders. But that's that for you. Um, what else? I've, I've had a other couple uh, freakouts during Honduras afterwards. Um, I literally just ninja'd uh, this one this one night where um, I think there was like a huge grasshopper. Like Honduras is no joke. All the bugs that you see in America, Honduras's bugs are ten times bigger. It was a huge huge grasshopper, and I didn't know what it was at the time. It was so big, I thought it was a spider, but it like literally latched onto this girl's hair, right? And she ran out the door screaming her head off. And I literally, I jumped off the balcony. I was literally one store up. I jumped off the balcony, booked it all the way to the other side. And everybody was like, dude, where the hell did Bao go? And they see me like half a mile down the way. And they're like, dude, how did you get over there? And I was like, dude, I was totally ninja. I totally thought that was a spider. I'm literally that scared of spiders now. Um, they didn't help. My coworkers did not help. I saw that and I was like, this is very funny. I'm not working until this gets moved. I literally, I, that was like one of my most unproductive days ever because I spent half the day just sitting at my cube or sitting actually like away from my cube uh, so that they could remove this spider uh, stuff. I actually got one of my coworkers to move it for me because I was like, I ain't touching that shit. I ain't touching it, no way. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's that story. That was probably my most eventful uh, period this week and probably one of the most entertaining for you. Um, but... It was scary. It was pretty crazy. I, I don't like it. I don't like spiders. So, yeah, that's the story. Um, now, back to this house build. I'm just going to cover the top of this with quartz. I think I'm going to make this part a square. A little bit of a square. I'm trying to figure this out. I think... Oh, crap. I forgot to press shift. Let's see. I don't want to deface this part, so... Let's get back up. But yeah, don't scare me with spiders, guys. It's not nice. 
Um, so then, let's see, after this, I'm um, probably going to go do a little bit of caving. need to get up. I think what's going to happen here is uh, I'm going to have something that goes down, maybe a little downstairs from here. So it's going to be like a window here. I think that's the plan. It's going to be like a window, a little window balcony. And then it's going to go down. And this is going to kind of lead to the outside balcony swimming pool. That's, that's going to be really cool. So down here, I need to get some stairs set up. Uh, let's see. There, where is it? Right here. So this is how you make stairs, right? Yeah, I got it. I know how to Minecraft. Whew. Let's see. Stairs here, there. Don't die. Just like that. Cool. And then this. So there's gonna be windows here. For oh, there's gonna be like glass panes here. I think. I think this is a lower half slab. So. Can I do that? Yeah. Skills right there. Minecraft skills. Just like this. Just like that. There and there. So what's going to happen is we're going to have like a little ledge like this. And then there's going to be like uh, window panes all around here. Um, and I'm using half slabs so that, you know, kind of prevents monster spawning without having a lot of light. Um, I think it's going to pretty be pretty much dark unless it's light out. I might have some indoor lighting, we'll see. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, let me build a little bit off camera and then I'll come back when there's a little bit more to see. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my god guys, look what I just saw. Remember how we were looking for cows? I just found cows. Let's go get them. Let's go get some cow. Oh crap, I gotta be careful around here. Keep like being really, really careless around there. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, only have hearts. So I gotta go get some wheat. Hope those cows don't despawn. I have the pens already made, and then there's two over there. So if we get them, we can actually breed them. Uh, hope I get them both over here so that I don't have to worry about. Trying to find some more, I can just keep reading them. Let's get some here. Probably be back to breed the uh, the sheeps after this too. Breed sheeps. Go up top. Breed some more. Uh, breed some more birdies. Some chickens. Are they gone? Please don't be gone. Been looking everywhere for you. Come here, Moomoos. Come here, Moomoos. Yeah, Moomoos. Wow, there's three. Yes. There's three. Come here. Four. Yeah, there's four. Even number cows are good. We can mate, mate all four. Come on. Come on. I hope none of them lose interest. Let's go. Come on. Down here. Down here. Yes, it's still four. Okay. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. No. One of them lost interest. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Let's go. Stupid cow. I'll just bring these first. These three, and then I'll come back for that one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, okay. Now, who couldn't mate? There you go. Let's mate these guys real quick. Mate, make babies. Let me level. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Lovely cow babies and sheep babies. Hmm. I should do some quick farming too. Back. 
seeds. Yes, I love when the seeds pop up first. Probably make a automatic wheat farm soon, huh? Except I don't have um. I think I'll do that when I have. What you call it? Skeleton spawner. Once I have a skeleton spawner, I can do like automatic wheat farms and tree farms and things like that. That'll be fun. But unfortunately, I don't have a skeleton spawner yet. Um, which means I kind of got to do more. Uh, more caving which will be coming soon probably after this so let me mate these guys a little bit more we're gonna end up making the server like hella just because these guys are in here come on I know there's more of you in there that want to mate Can I just not reach you guys right now there we go Seriously, hope I don't fall in. Oh, thought I was gonna fall in. All right, forget it. Cover this up. I'm done with you. Give me that dirt back. Get full chicken. Oh crap. There we go. All right, now. All right, so I figured we're gonna. I'm just. I'm barely under the mine, right under where my house is gonna be. See that? That's where my house is. I'm barely in the mines here. I figured it'd be a good spot to start again. Um, probably light up all the caves since I didn't finish lighting up the caves. Um, but there's no point in dragging you guys through all that. I'll probably start recording again when, um, if there's anything interesting happens or if there's, um, or when I'm done with caving. So, see you guys in a little bit. I'll show you guys either my lootations or if something interesting happens. I'll see you guys in a bit. Look what I found. Make our way over there in a second. Let me just light this area up. This is a really, really close surface spawner. Let's see. Where'd you, where'd you go? It's upward, right? Is it like locked away or something? Like tucked in a corner? No way out? Light this up real quick, and then we'll break through. Oh, what the? What the heck happened? Potato! Potato! Awesome. Um, that was crazy. I think I got hit or something. I don't know where from. Um, let's see. Let's light this up. Yeah, nope. Ooh, that skill right there. Ooh, leather. Some leather armor. Let's throw that away. Yeah, it was like completely enclosed off. Look at that. Cool. Alright, let's see what our lootations are. Let's see what we get. Nothing good. I was hoping for at least like a name tag, you know, maybe, maybe an enchanted book. But no. no. You get away from me. Let's see. Put that away. Get some redstone. Do any string for anything? Better string than rotten flesh. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and let's see what we got. Not a lot, unfortunately. I just went caving to light up some caves, obviously, so get some tunnels to uh, prevent mob spawning. But we got about six, six stacks and a little bit of coal, three stacks of coal or iron ore, and nine, a little bit. And then we actually got three emeralds, um, four redstones. Four redstones was actually from the uh, zombie spawner that we found. 
um, and then a lap, a couple lapis, and pretty much it. Killed an Enderman, got an Ender Pearl. Let's see how many Ender Pearls we have now. Five, six. Hopefully, we'll be able to fight the Enderman or uh, Ender Dragon soon. What will happen? Excuse me. Is probably I'll probably go and do some caving, strip mining off camera, so that I can find some diamonds to suit up, and then we'll probably go find some more Enderman. Um, probably out during one of our night times in these open fields and we'll probably be able to kill Endermen um, pretty quickly and get some Ender Pearls and whatnot. Uh, we have about two Blaze Rods, maybe go back into the Ender, or sorry, the Nether, get some more Blaze Rods to make um, the uh, Ender Eyes and then we'll be set. So let me get these in here real quick. Let me get these started and then um, I think we have, do we have enough diamonds for another enchantment? Maybe another sword? Nah, I think I'll save it so that I can get, um, some more diamond armor. We, my iron, my iron helmet broke, so I looted this off of a, of a zombie I killed, and then this too, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, but my diamond one's better. Um, so probably not going to be using that, obviously, but, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um... Uh, if there's anything else, probably add it on. Uh, next episode, probably an update on probably strip mining. Hopefully, I'll have enough ender pearls ready for um, the search of a stronghold. And we'll probably take uh, dedicate an entire episode to the searching for the stronghold. And then, uh, probably the episode of that, hopefully, we'll be able to fight the ender dragon. Um, but uh, the next couple of episodes is probably going to be a lot of prepping for uh, the ender dragon fight. So. Um, we gotta get pots, gotta get enchanted armor, uh, gotta get ender pearls, blaze rods for ender eyes, uh, look for the stronghold, and then uh, once we go, we'll probably be set to go. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.